The ultimate gun in the Helldivers 2 Steeled Veterans War Bond is the Jar Dominator. Located on the last page, this thing will make sure that you expense at least 280 medals in addition to the either $10 or 1,000 super credits that you will need to unlock the war bond itself. Either way, that can be quite a grind. And so that's why I wanted to know, is this gun even worth the asking price. Dr. Pooplove here, and let's talk about it. Now, one thing I will be doing a lot here is comparing the Jar Dominator to the Plaz One Scorcher, because these are both very similar guns, and I have already reviewed the Scorcher, so you should check that out if you haven't. But both these guns have semi-auto firing, they have the same clip size and number of mags, and they both are explosive. Although the Jar is classified as an explosive weapon, Weapon, and the Scorcher is classified as an energy-based weapon with the explosive trait. These are kind of the closest to each other, but despite that closeness, there are some key differences. One of which is the damage, which is supposedly double at 200 for the jar. Although, to be honest, it doesn't really feel this way, and I'll talk about that in a second. Another thing is the jar has more recoil, which you can definitely feel. The jar also has medium armor penetration, but as we will find, it actually does a worse job of penetrating armor than the plasma, which has a light armor penetration. I gotta be real, I don't really like the way that this game shows some of the stats, because it doesn't really seem consistent and it sometimes can give the wrong picture of how these guns actually work. Now another thing to note here is that you can actually modify the jar. It has a single fire mode as well as a burst fire mode, which allows you to shoot three bullets if you pull down the trigger. But the burst is so slow that it doesn't really make sense to me for you to ever do this. You can actually just mimic the burst pattern with your own firing if you want. That's how slow it is. The rate of fire on this gun is 250, so it does fire fairly fast. But how does this thing fare out on the battlefield? Now versus the bots, the jar does just okay. Although it has medium armor penetration, there isn't going to be a noticeable difference here. Unlike the Scorcher, the explosive damage that is part of the jar does not provide that extra level of armor penetration that creates those explosions that damage past the shield. Things like shields and walkers do not get that damage like the scorcher does like most guns you're still going to want to go for the weak spots on the bots with the jar and to be honest with the increased recoil of the jar it's harder to take these guys out at range because you do have to make sure your shots are on target and the smaller amount of recoil with the scorcher allows you to get shots in much faster if you are going to go at range though i recommend that you just go in first person view because that's gonna help you with a little bit better accuracy. Now versus the bugs, this is where the jar becomes a bit more viable and that's why I would recommend really if you're gonna use this, use it against the bugs. One thing to note is that unlike the scorcher, the jar's explosive damage does not hurt you at close range. If you shoot the ground, it doesn't mean you're gonna accidentally kill yourself or if a hunter gets a little too close and you fire it in the face, you're not gonna blow up. For that reason, as well as the fact that there's a little more recoil, it does does mean the jar is a little bit better at that close range where things are a little bit more in your face. Now, one good thing about the jar is versus the bile spewers, it does do a nice job because that explosive damage does allow you to choose to aim and shoot for their sacks to eliminate them pretty quickly. Although the face also works in this case. Now versus the charger, you can use this thing to go for butt shots and you will find that it will take basically a little bit less than one clip in order to get that ass and let the charger bleed out. It's obviously not as fast as some of the support weapons, but it does get the job done. And also a bit of a correction to my video on the Scorcher, but the Scorcher also is effective at tapping that ass. Now the jar can also go for those bile titan sacks, just like the Scorcher, but not for the full kills. 
and the recoil does make it a little bit harder to line up your shots, if I'm being honest. Now you can use the jar to snipe spore towers, but it does seem to take more shots than the scorcher, which is confusing, as this supposedly is supposed to do double the damage of the scorcher, really does not seem to be doing that. It actually takes more shots versus this thing. I'm definitely confused on those stats. Another thing I wanted to see is, does the jar do any sort of splash damage like the scorcher does and no, it doesn't really seem to. Versus the eggs, it takes one shot per egg instead of doing splash damage to multiple eggs. But like the Scorcher, you can't use this to close the bug holes despite the explosive properties. One thing you can do, and I'm assuming this is because of the medium armor penetration, is you can use it to get collaterals versus the smaller enemies. Your bullets will penetrate through them and hit the enemies behind them as well. Overall though, this gun is a little bit underwhelming, especially when you compare it to the Scorcher. I personally do like single fire guns like this over shotguns. And to be honest, this gun is fun to use, but it's not really providing this huge benefit. And in most cases, if you do have the Scorcher, I would opt for that. The jar may win out on the bug missions because you don't have that risk of accidentally killing yourself. And really its strongest use is against the bile spewers. So if you are bringing this out on the battlefield, I would focus your fire on those because that is going to give you the best benefit to your team. In addition to being able to use its collateral capability and medium armor penetration, it does do decently against the bugs. It's just not very standout. But what do you think? Are there any other benefits that I am missing here for the Jar Dominator? Let me know in the comments. And thank you to my YouTube members for joining the bowel movement. But otherwise, so long, pooper troopers.